this one. Suzaste Kuraman de Susare de Embrehu Kurari de Susare de Bredeto. Tis a story de Baro Carta Sahelebe, Shushara de la Maha to Saza T. Lady de Susara de la Mambra Hakatasa. The lamp has won. Let us worship him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Welcome Amen. to Business Amen. Garage. Yet another day the day that the Lord has met, we yes. shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen, amen, yes. amen. Businessman, businesswoman, welcome to join us in prayer as we uh, uh, experience another uh, amazing episode of Business Garage. Today we have an amazing interview ahead uh, and would like to start by putting God first. Yes. So we start by giving thanks. My name is Stephen. And my name is Moses. Yes, we are glad to lead you in prayer. So share your testimonies on YouTube, share your prayer requests. We are happy to join you in uh, declaring the truth and we shall see it manifest in the physical. Because yes. the truth is, we are more than conquerors. Uh, eh? Yes, indeed. We are above Amen. and not beneath. Hallelujah. We are the heads and not the tails. Amen. Uh, when the enemy comes at us in one direction, he flees in seven ways. Yes. Eh? There are so many promises. Oh, those are true right now in the spirit. Yes, indeed. Yeah, Amen. but you may not be experiencing them in the physical, in the natural, and we can draw them out. How do we do that? By uh, gathering together. Yes. Yes, when we gather together, uh, the word of God says, well, two or three are gathered, there is in their midst. Yes. And where the presence of God is, I mean, there is liberty. And, and his presence is, is, is our praise. Oh, yes. He inhabits the praises of his people. So all we need to do is set up the praise, pray, set up the worship, and he will come. Oh, yes. So join us in praying. Let's give thanks. You give thanks very well when you oh, pray yes. in, in tongues. So join us in praying in the spirit. Lord, we lift up our voices to you. And we say, oh God, we are here before you today saying we bless your name because you are God and you are great. You are the creator of heaven and earth. You are the God of all things. You are the, you are the, the heavens are your, are, are your throne and the earth are your books, Lord God. There is nothing above you, nothing beneath you, nothing below you, nothing without you and nothing outside of you. Father, you are good and you are God. You created all things by the breath of your words and by the spirit of, of, of your existence. Father, we thank you because you are here with us and you are causing us to, to have new desires, new passions by your spirit and by your word. You have changed us and made us new beings by, by, your, by your scriptures and by your word. Father, we thank you because you are good and you are here. You are here to lift us up. You are here to raise us up into into new oh, beings in, in you. You're showing us a new way to live. You're showing us a new way to give of ourselves. You're showing us a new way to, to serve your God. Open up our eyes. Open up our hearts that we may be business people, businessmen and women who serve you, not just serving our, our pockets and our bank accounts and just building buildings for ourselves, but for people who, will, who you have given the power to make wealth to fulfill your commission and to fulfill the covenant that you made with our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, thank you because you're giving us a new light and a new life in the oh, name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I... I join in thanksgiving by saying thank you, Lord, for giving us health, giving us life, giving us a long, satisfying life. Thank you for giving us promises we can stand on and declare and decree that we are more than conquerors. Thank you 
that you've given us a gift of faith. Your own faith you gave it to us as a gift that we can use as our servant to call out the things that we need to see from the truth. Thank you, Lord, that you've given us businesses and you've given us ideas to execute. Thank you for making us actionable people who are improving and increasing our businesses. Thank you for faithful stewards in the business world. Thank you that people are making profit and uh, declaring taxes, filing their returns. Thank you for making us diligent, people who know everything about our industry, that we know the number of customers we know we have, that we know about our market share, that we know about everything, oh Lord. Father, we thank you for the business environment in Uganda and, uh, and beyond, that there's peace to do business in Uganda. Father, we thank you for everyone who has taken a chance to listen to wisdom, get mentorship, and execute. That's because wisdom comes from you, Lord, that you've given us people to be uh, our mentors, and through those people, you speak to us, and we take action. Thank you for prophets that give us instruction uh, to take action on. Father, we thank you. We can't thank you enough for what you've done for us this week. Uh, for all the opportunities that came our way, for the people who were able to serve. We thank you for the miracles that took place this week, uh, for all breakthroughs that people had, uh, for, for breaking barriers in different areas. Maybe someone made a thousand customers. We thank God for that. Maybe someone made a hundred customers. Maybe someone made a hundred million, ten million. We thank you for broken barriers that we are going over and above, oh Lord. We thank you that we have scriptures we can stand on, uh, not to fear anything that comes our way. Lord, we lift up our voices to you and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you because you're giving us, you've given us employees, oh God. You've given us, you've given us great ideas, oh God. Even you've given us new business plans and new business ideas. You've given us new partners. Father, we thank you for, for, for connections. We thank you because you're reminding us of those people who we need to get in touch with. We're reminding us of those bits we need to get back into. You're reminding us of those things that, that oh, pertain to life and goodness, that, 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 that shall bring business to our businesses, oh God, Father, that we thank you because you're also reminding those who have, who have sat on our documents to and you're opening up all, all, those, all those closed files and that you're causing people to remember us and our businesses, oh God. Father, thank you for those bids that we, that, that we won, all those, all those contracts that have, that have been sitting unsigned, but you're reminding those people to sign those bids and to sign those contracts for, for for your children, oh God. Father, thank you because you are good and you are great. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen, amen. Lord, we can't stop giving thanks. Yes. Uh, friends, continue giving thanks. When you have nothing to do, give thanks. Amen, amen, But amen. we are switching gears to Mark chapter 5, verse 36. Mark 5, 36. And it says, do not be afraid, only believe. Um, mm. Do not be afraid. Only believe. Or do not stop. fear. Only believe. This is Jesus' command to us. It may have been to the ruler of the synagogue in that time, but it's for us today. Mm -hmm. Do not be afraid or do not fear. Only believe. only believe. Our part is only to believe. And we are not using our own believing. We got a gift of faith mm -hmm. that we can use to believe. Eh? When we say we are the righteousness of God, God has given us his righteousness and his faith. Yes. So we can use his own faith. To believe, but to believe him, he's telling us, do not fear. So, is there a business environment that is producing fear? This is what we are going to pray against. So we're going to pray against fear. Mm -hmm. We're going to pray that we shall actually believe. Believing is not hard, it's just to believe. Yes. There is no energy involved in believing. That we shall take Jesus at his word and say to it in our hearts. The word of God says the kingdom of God is not... Is not what eating and drinking, but, but righteousness, peace, peace, and joy. joy yes. yes, so we are praying and calling on the kingdom of God, which really will dissipate fear. Yes. Fear is not from the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And that way, once we put the fear away, then we overcome. The and word of a, God tells us to do not fear uh, in several instances. Don't fear, don't fear, don't fear. Yes. So that means we're in charge of not fearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... I want us to pray first. You will also give us a, a direction that we, w that we shall be people who seek peace, joy, uh, the promises of God, and not be stuck in what we see with our eyes, which can cause a lot of fear. Yes. Yes. Amen. 
Yeah, so let's pray. Father, we thank you that you've given us promises that never change. They are true uh, for all eternity, that do not be afraid, only believe. That's the command you gave us. And Father, Lord, we thank you that we don't have to use our own faith to believe. You gave us your faith. As long as we chose you as our Lord and Savior, you gave us that faith. First of all, believe that you saved us. And we're using the same faith to overcome fear. The word says this is a victory that overcomes the world. Our faith. We are overcomers. We declare and decree that we are overcomers. We shall not be devoured by any situation we see with our eyes. That we choose to be people of faith. Today we are standing on faith, faith against bad news, faith against unfair business practices, faith against uh, negativities that were spoken to us a long time ago for anyone. Uh, we overcome with faith. We, uh, we overcome any curses that may have been released. Uh, we turn them around. We send them back to the senders. We refuse to be people who do not walk in faith. We choose to walk in faith today. And we choose to be people of joy uh, and goodness. Uh, spill our hearts, O oh Lord. Lord, we lift up our voices and we say, Lord, give us the grace to be healed. We lift up our voices and we say, God, Help us, help us, help us. For you said that with faith as small as a mustard seed, we shall move mountains, we shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea. We ask, O oh God, that you will, you, will, you will open up our eyes and our the eyes that we may see that we have enough faith to move the, 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 the situation that, that we are facing, that we have enough faith to move these mountains. And therefore, give us the grace, O oh God, to see that it is just us, it's just about us opening up our mouths. And today, right now, businessman, businesswoman, I said to you, stand up and speak to that situation. Stand up and speak to those debts. Speak to them and say, debts be removed and cast into the sea. Call forth those contracts. Call forth those, those, those bids to come. Call forth those, those customers to come. Call forth those, uh, those things to be sold. Those, that, that stock, that inventory that has, been, that has been piled. Speak to them and ask them to be moved. And they shall be moved. All you have to do is have faith. Do not fear. Only believe. Oh, yes. The word of God in Psalm, Isaiah 59, 19 says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Yes, part two is what I'm emphasizing. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Yes, Lord, we stand on your word that the Spirit of the Lord lifts a standard against any wiles of the devil. Any Amen. plans of the enemy, they cannot overcome us. We are overcomers. Amen. Uh, if God Amen. is for us, Amen. who can come against us? No one. Who can? No they one. may. They may come, but they can't come against us, really. They can't overcome They you. can't overcome us. Mm. So, thank you, Lord, that we shall not fear whatever we see with our eyes. Because in the spirit, we are more than conquerors. Amen. We are the heads and not the tails. We are not the tails. We are not the lenders. We are not the borrowers. We are the lenders. We are above and not beneath. We Amen. are above the second circumstances. Amen. The word of God says that as Jesus is, so are we in this world. So we stand on that word, O oh Lord, that we are, we, are stand, we are with Jesus who is sitting in the heavenly places at the right hand of the Father. That we are seated at the right hand of the Father with Jesus. That Satan is under our feet. And that Amen. means all his, uh, his people, his, you know, his crew that tries to disorganize us with lies, he's under our feet. So Amen. we put him where he belongs, under our feet. Yes, Lord, we lift up our voices and say, you, oh God, are our God, you are our Father, and we come before you and say thank you. Thank you because you've given us authority over so many things. You've given us authority over so many things, and by your Spirit, you've caused us to be lifted up. You've caused us to be, to be, to be, to be lifted up out of the ashes, out of the, out of, out of the, out of the rubbish heaps, and you've, given, you've placed us in, in high places, oh God, because you've given us the power, like, we, like you said in the Deuteronomy 8, 18, given us, you're that who gives us the power to make wealth, oh God. Father, because, we, because you have given us this power, Father, we take that power, we stand on that promise of power, and we say, Lord, we thank you and we oh bless yes. your name because you are good and you are God. Amen. And Father, we thank you that what we've prayed for today has come to pass, and we're Amen. going to see a physical manifestation of it in a few minutes, days, months to come. Amen. Amen. Yes, just one thing. When you mention believe, it's a decision. Oh, yes. Like they said, do not, like you mentioned, do not fear, only, only believe. believe. 
that means that it is me to decide what, what response I'm going to have. Am I, I, if, if, if the debts are, are piling up, what do I believe? Do I fear and run or do I believe and work? If, um, and all those things, the Lord is good and he is going to help us do all these things. If oh, God's yes. Not, all you need to do is just believe. So businessman, businesswoman, just believe. Oh, yes. Uh, don't go away. Business Garage is going on. Um, our interview is up ahead. Uh, we still have to praise and give thanks to God. Amen. Uh, so just share the link. Wake up your friends uh, because we have an amazing interview coming up. Yes. Amen. Yet again to an amazing month where we're going to hear very interesting stuff about business. Business group coaching is back. This business started in 2019 on the cusp of COVID. Right now, the, the entire organization has over 30 people. If that is not growth, you see what I meant when I told you we were bringing somebody with results to show? That the reason why I need to have this, people who follow me are mostly sinners. <laughs> so they need to hear the word of the Lord. <laughs> so he knew how to calculate the cost of goods, he knew how to purchase, he knew how to price, he knew how to repair, he knew even how to collect debts. You strongly believe Jesus was a business? Yes. Man. Anyone who sets up a business to work in it, you created a job for yourself. That business will fail. When the leader is small, yeah. the business is definitely going to stay small. small and so is everyone in it trapped in the smallness. Exactly. You who think the business people are not in kingdom business. Ooh. Given as we rejoice for the victory is ours. Woo! Guns bad Ready to give him praise? Hey! Made him who knew no sin to become sin for us. Stripped all his majesty in the manger born. A love that knows no end. Mercy that overflows. He calls me righteous one. And I'm forever changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Righteousness of God. The righteousness of God. Righteousness, oh God, oh, I'm the righteousness, oh God. What kind of love is this that sets a free, so free? Comes him with righteousness, gives me freedom to reign. I'm all a I walk in victory. The curse of sin and death has no more hold on me. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm the righteousness, oh God. We reign over nations, over towns, over cities. Oh, I shout it out. Oh, I got the freedom to reign. Oh, yes. We reign in Africa. We reign in the continent. Oh, I shout it out. Shout it out. Oh, I got the freedom to reign. You got the freedom. We got the freedom. Oh, shout it out. Shout it out. Oh, I got the freedom to we reign. reign. Now, I got the freedom to reign. Come on, let's celebrate now. 
Hallelujah. Give the Lord thanks and praise in the house today. Oh, the Lord is good and he is great. Come on, studio audience. Give the Lord a big hand clap to in the house today. Ah, yes. And those of you at home as well, you are welcome to this special edition of Business Garage. Today you are here and you are so, so, so very welcome. Today we have a special feature and the Lord is good. Ah, hallelujah. Oh, those of you in the studio audience, you may have your seats. Those of you who are here for the first time, you are very welcome. I'm sure your neighbor will shake your hand and uh, maybe give you some money as well. You never know. You never know. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, just to remind those of us, of those of you who are new to this place of uh, business garage, we are going to talk about who we are as Watch Purvis, because we are here at Watch Purvis Nalia in our studio. Ah, uh, yes. And as Watch Purvis, we are a movement of the gospel discipleship and mission and we exist for the purpose of catalyzing spiritual social and economic renewal in our immediate communities and as a result the world and what do we believe we believe we do, and we do we plant life-giving disciple making community renewing churches and what do we believe we believe that church begins on monday and sunday is garage time Beep, beep. Oh, yes. Ah, you're welcome to this new and special edition of Business Garage. Once again, my name is Moses, and I'm your host for the day. And I would like to tell you that you are in the best place at the best time for the best time of the year, of the best time of your week as well, because you're going to learn new things. You're going to be inspired. You're going to be, ah, you're going to be rejuvenated, and your business will not be the same again if you just listen and apply all the things that you're going to learn at Business Garage. Uh, yes, I'd just like to invite you as well. If, you, if you're online, you're in your bed, just get out of bed, pick up your phone, and share this link with your neighbors, your friends, even those who you don't like. Just share the link because you never know. They will be blessed as well. And at this time, we're going to get into a time of giving. And uh, those of you in the studio, the guest experience team members will, will attend to you. And those of you online, we have our giving options online. If you want to use mobile money, you can use... MTN 778-618-418, Airtel is 758-618-418. If you want to use Momo Pay, it's 148-722, and Airtel Pay, 116-0032. We also have a merchant code for M-Pesa, but uh, you'll see it online. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord, and at this point, I'd just like you to just take out your, your, your offertory and give to the Lord through those, through those uh, channels, and the Lord will bless you, and you will be blessed indeed. Come on, we're going to have a, a lovely song at this point, and then we'll get into our interviews. You are welcome again. The Lord bless you. You are my peace and my salvation. I will not be afraid, I will not be dismayed. I lift my hands in surrender, cause victory belongs 
you're welcome yet again to an amazing month where we're going to share very interesting stuff about business business group coaching is back this business started in 2019 on the cusp of covid right now the, the entire organization has over 30 people if that is not growth you see what i meant when i told you we were bringing somebody with results to show that the reason why i need to have this is that people who follow me are mostly sinners so, <laughs> so they need to hear the word of the lord <laughs> So he knew how to calculate cost of goods, he knew how to purchase, he knew how to price, he knew how to repair, he knew even how to collect debts. You strongly believe Jesus was a business? Man. Yes. Anyone who sets up a business to work in it, you created a job for yourself, that business will fail. When the leader sees small, yeah. the business is definitely going to stay small. small, and so is everyone in it trapped in the smallness. Exactly. You who think the business people are not in kingdom business. Ooh. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You are welcome to Worship Harvest, and this is Business Garage. This morning, the Lamba has won. Let us worship him. Yes, you are most welcome to Business Garage this morning. Coming to you live from Worship Harvest, Nalia, the studio at Nalia. And we are excited this morning that you could join us. We know that you have had a lovely week and would like to get to hear about it. So please do go ahead and share in the chat. For those of you that are online, let us know what was good about your business week. For those of you in studio, you can turn quickly to your neighbor and tell them what was amazing about your business business week this is business garage and at business garage we resource kingdom men and women to do business uh, following kingdom principles that is what we do here at business garage so if it's your very first time to tune in you are most welcome do share that link with your friend with your neighbor with your business associate with your pastor with your client whoever it is just share the link with them because one way or the other we are all in business in a certain way and so once again thank you for tuning in and today we are most excited my name is Sharon Tumusime and I am your host this morning yes thank you very much studio audience and uh, we are excited this morning because today's show is going to be an exceptional one it is a different one I think you have seen the flyer going around so once again do share that link because today's show is loaded with inspiration a beautiful full story, one that will inspire you and keep you going and get that faith to the next level if you felt that your faith was failing. And so today we have the absolute pleasure of hosting with us an artist. Yes, we have an artist, yes, an art director from Magezi Arts uh, Studio. I would like to call it a studio and art gallery where they do a lot of art, contemporary art, I found out is what they do we will find out about other forms of art that they do but today we are hosting uh, mrs rita chivumbi of magazi art studio she's an art director visually impaired it's amazing she's visually impaired but she continues to do art and we're going to find out how isn't that amazing and you're curious to find out how is she doing it but it is only by the grace of god and today she she will be sharing her story. So she's visually impaired. For those of you who might be wondering what that really means, it's uh, she's blind. She cannot see. But uh, the joy that she carries, my goodness, it is amazing. And it continues to show us what Jesus can do for you, no matter what circumstances you are going through. So Rita, you are most welcome. Thank you very much. All right. Yep. <laughs> yes, you are most welcome to Business Garage this morning. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. You're excited to be here. <laughs> yes. So we want to get right into it, Rita. Tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you've been doing, and, you know, a bit about your story. Are you married? Do you have children? Tell the <laughs> listeners today and viewers. Thank you very much. My name is Rita Kivumi, and I'm the art director and founder of Magazi Arts Exhibition Center. And uh, though visually impaired, I'm uh, 
uh, involved in a day-to-day -day work at the gallery and the art studio. I do art and basically uh, I use tactile method and I bring out uh, different stories inspired by nature, Bible, and uh, I lean on sound, intuition, other senses which are not sight. So I walk by faith in my work. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely do walk by sight, faith and not by sight. And that is really what the Bible tells us to do. Yes, and we are going to hear more about those stories and how you have really been walking by faith and not by sight. Mm -hmm. And Rita, you are so joyful. <laughs> You're always smiling and always have that little laugh, and it's really inspirational. But tell us, are you married? Do you have children? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm, I'm married to one and only Godfrey Kevombe, and uh, I have three babies, Amazing Grace, Divine Wonders, those are the girls, and the boy, Trinity Glory. All right. One beautiful <laughs> name, Amazing Grace, Divine Wonders, and Trinity Glory. Ah, what are you naming your children? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Rita, tell us about your story. Where do you start from? Uh, where you, where you, because people might be curious. I'm sorry if you don't mind. I would like to know. Mm -hmm. Were you born blind? Mm -hmm. Have you always been an artist? Tell us a little bit about that. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, I, I, uh, uh, I wasn't born blind. Mm -hmm. I just lost my sight 15 years ago. And this is a time when I was a curator and art director at, Mac at Macquarie University Art Gallery. Doing my job, you're, you're young, you're from the university, and like uh, you have all this life uh, mm -hmm. ahead, and you, you, you don't know something can happen. Just be inspired about nature, everything around you, and uh, life had it otherwise. One day, I just, after a successful art at uh, exhibition at the gallery, I just lead and fell down. Coming up, I couldn't see again. And uh, I'm like, okay, what is going on? Of course, you can't scream or what. But with Jesus with me, I, I'm like, God, this is, I, I don't understand what's going on. Losing sight, I thought people who lose sight were the old. And I'm mm -hmm. like, what am I going to do? But I didn't, I just called on Jesus, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, Lord, let's get it from there. I thought I was going to be only blind for just a bit time and be healed. Mm -hmm. But 15 years later... Uh, I say, like, by faith and the grace of God, I'm still keeping on, keeping on. All right. Thank yeah. you very much, Rita. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. So, and, and, and then we know that you're a business owner. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to know, how does then someone that has been hit by this tragedy, you're suddenly blind, um, you know, it's something that has happened to you, you were not born blind, you've been seeing, and then you're not, you're not seeing anymore, which means the job you are holding at the university suddenly not available because, of course, you needed your eyes to do the work that you were doing. So then what gets you to this point where you decide to get into business? How do you get into business even? <laughs> okay, actually, when at the time I lost my sight, I was thinking about uh, starting an art gallery because mm. I saw that Uganda has a treasure. A lot of artists had uh, during that time had their artworks under their beds. They graduate and then they are like they, they don't ex uh, put out their talents. Mm. So I had this dream to start an art gallery where I can show that Uganda is uh, uh, privileged to have the talents around to mm. showcase their works as I'm also doing my work. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for me, the sight had gone. And then I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? During that time when I'm in the, uh, can I say healing? Because I had paralyzed all my left hand side. Mm -hmm. I decided to switch off all the negativity, I, to, the news, the, the bad news. And I decided to switch on the good news. And that's the word of God. Amen. Uh, which, which is like, with good all things are possible. Greater is he that is in me than in others. Because, because of that good news, the word of God, I, I'm like, I can go, still go out there and do it. And God showed me a sign. When uh, different students stayed coming at my place, uh, they're like, okay, come, they come for advice, they come for all this training, and I'm like, if they can go from here and do the art gallery, uh, create, uh, uh, start their own fashion houses, start their this, then I can, I can still do it. Mm. It took me six years to believe that I can still stand. By God's grace, I'm like, I have to go there. And then uh, the business I want to do is like, again, art. 
But how everyone was like, how can you do art when you don't see? I said, I can still do it. If I can still get that uh, news uh, magazine paper, fold it and make that jewelry, mm. I can still do some work on that fabric, mm. the tie and dye, then I'll, I'll get it from there. So I'm like, let me go. But the question was, how can you do visual art when you're visually impaired? Yeah. I decided to switch that off. And I'm like, I'm going out anyway. Just like the man who was looking at Jesus mm -hmm. and floating on water. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I'll go out there. 2015, March 15th, it was the start of my story. I started uh, the, um, the, my first exhibition. Of course, by faith, I, 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 and I'm like, let me do this again. I called my friends on board, the different artists. They put up this exhibition, and then from that time, I've been organizing art workshops and art exhibitions to that. Wow, yes. wow. <laughs> amazing, amazing. <laughs> so basically what you're saying is for six years you were not doing anything. I was, I was doing something, listening to the word you of God. You were listening, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing art, but listening to the word, really taking in the word, a lot of it, mm -hmm. until that point when you realize that the mm -hmm. art students are coming to you, mm -hmm. and if they're coming to you and going out and launching lines, you oh, can yeah. also do the same thing. Mm -hmm. and so you decide, I'm going to go out and you call mm -hmm. a few friends of yours. Mm -hmm. so someone might be wondering, how exactly did you go about it? Where was your first art exhibition? Who helped you? What, what happened, really? Yes, yes. <laughs> Amazingly, when I, I <laughs> told the ones who hadn't gone away, okay, during the period of a losing sight, okay, some relatives will run away, <laughs> yes. some friends will like, oh my God, <laughs> that's a hopeless situation, maybe anytime you, you, you're going <laughs> dying, but I'm like, okay. No, I have to, first of all to believe in myself. So it dawned on me that time when I was listening uh, to uh, Christian radio, mm. and uh, this pastor was talking about having hope despite the hopeless situation. Yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go and see this pastor and then tell him, okay, I've been around, I've the prayed. Pastor, I went. you were listening to on the radio. Yes, oh, okay. <laughs> it so happened that he was near where I was staying, near Macquarie College that time, mm. and then when I reached there, okay, of course he was sad about my story yeah. and he, he is like okay apart from uh, lamenting what else can you do i didn't know i had the answer even <laughs> i just stopped lamenting them then i said i can still organize art exhibitions and art workshops in different hotels he's like what are you waiting for i said i don't have the capital to start you know that word capital <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's like yeah. but wh when you said it that's the beginning okay do you have any art with you i had some little jewelry some cards and some paint but he's like okay you can bring your work here at the church and as we believe god for your first exhibition so uh, there, uh, uh, it helped me, like I'm, like I'm believing in myself. So when that I have my uh, metro, I told her, I want to go out there and do it again. What she did, she <laughs> assembled all the family members. Oh, okay. <laughs> my so God bless mm. Yes, and then they started uh, bringing in some funds. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go get the posters, banners, and all this. Adverts, I'll go out there on radio and TV again and tell them, look, I can still do it. And you know what? The rest is history. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. So Rita's first exhibition, your first exhibition, is mm -hmm. actually at a church. Oh, yeah. What's the name of the church? The church is Jesus Voice Hope of Praises at uh, Macquarie College. Uh -huh. And then when he believed me, he was pastor from Ghana. And then he's like, Oh my God, when he saw my first exhibition, he's like, oh my God, you, you're going to do, how are you going to stage this? I'm like, I'm going to be inspired by what comes in day by day. If it's March, that's Women's Day. Mm. If it's uh, June, Heroes Day. Something, something, every month. You'll be a theme. Yes. Then I started going around me. That place had many hostels, even up today. And I'm like, uh, knocking on uh, people's doors, I'm like, come, I, uh, and we so do. So you, Rita, you're blind, you're going through hostels, knocking on doors. With my young one, Amazing Grace, that With time. Daughter. Yeah, wow. she was young, and like, some people, like, you're a student, you see someone knocking on your door, telling you about this art skill. Yeah, though you're doing this other course, maybe law or what, you can still get an art skill. 
Because I'm like sitting there and just for, um, waiting for some, someone to come in to buy. I'm like, no, 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 I still have to take art to the other, another level. So I, I go around in my situation. And then my young girl even that time didn't know to cross the road. I could just say, who do you see around? Maybe, can you talk to that person and they make us cross the road? Wow. <laughs> yes, and then we cross, we go to another hostel like that, like that. It wasn't easy, yeah, but resilience. Easy. We kept on like going around, getting some clients. They come, students came on board, others who are not even artists. They could uh, come and we teach them some bag making, jewelry making, and all that. So from that time, that year, Exactly, the following year, that is 2016, I was awarded uh, the, at Kololo by the president for uh, not uh, being down there, but helping the women in that community, that place, to uh, like empowering them through visual art, you know. Wow. <laughs> and then that same other year, I also met uh, the king of Uganda. Can you imagine? So I started m meeting people not because of sitting back, but because of changing the community through visual art. Wow, <laughs> amazing, amazing. <laughs> so you did not sit and uh, feel sorry for yourself. Six years later, after talking to the pastor, he's like, you know what, we mm -hmm. can't cry anymore. What can you do? Mm -hmm. You organize your first art exhibition, mm -hmm. and from then on, you get the fire, <laughs> and you're like, this is possible. <laughs> so you go out and start selling your art, mm -hmm. as well as, and that got you uh, known, your name, you put your name out there. And on top of that, you started to support women in the community mm -hmm. to, get into crafts making. Oh yeah. So your art, you mentioned earlier that your art is contemporary art. What mm -hmm. is it about contemporary art? For that person who might be here and doesn't know what that means. Basically, it's not like how I will come in and I just do, uh, brush it off like commercial. Yes. But it's uh, the elements of art uh, according to culture, how it is done at, uh, from school, mm -hmm. you get. And uh, in the media, basically in contemporary, in painting, okay. jewelry making, and okay. textile design. All right. Yes. So that's your focus in the contemporary area. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So painting, jewelry, and? Textile design. And textile design. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, so you went on from that point, and then you realize mm -hmm. probably that I need to take this to the next level. Mm -hmm. So tell us, how then do you actually set up a business? Because right now you have mm -hmm. an art gallery, Margezi mm -hmm. Art Gallery, mm -hmm. and Namirembe. Mm -hmm. So tell us, how do you then move to that level? Because yes, now you're uh, hawking mm -hmm. art, probably, <laughs> as well as the lessons. Mm -hmm. How do you then take it into... Uh, a gallery which is now your home <laughs> where people come and train and do all these things. Okay, from after getting all uh, uh, people on board, the youth, the women in the community there, uh, the pastor uh, who was preaching there went back and I couldn't <laughs> stay there. I'm like, oh Lord, what am I gonna do? Um, by faith, I went up the hill uh, to Namirembe Hill, that's uh, Namirembe Cathedral the, near the, the girls' stores, yeah. uh, with my young one, and I told them, look here, I am an artist, and I can organize that workshops and exhibitions, and but people will be coming in here. They're like, we've been looking for an, uh, a director in this place. Really? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm like, oh God, this is a miracle. So in there I come, I start, and my guide that time was two years and a half. My young uh, uh, son, Trinity Glory, he was the one guiding me around because they already started to go to school. Yeah. And I'm like, this young one is not even able to express himself. But my first client then, she came in to learn jewelry making. And then she became also a, <laughs> the gallery supervisor. From then, and that same year, we got uh, like 40 interns. Okay. <laughs> and um, uh, actually, I realized that I can move around and do what I have to do with them. With them. Uh, yeah. Yes. So how do you get to, to set up the gallery at the guest house? So you go and tell them, you know what? I can do art. And mm -hmm. they're like, you know what? We've been looking for somebody to do art. <laughs> and then what happens? And then mm. I start uh, over with launching the Art Mirror magazine, uh, reaching there and uh, the people that guess us so uh, this kicking off the paintings, the magazine, and talking about this. They're like, okay, we can do this. Mm. And uh, when they saw me. 
painting and doing my stuff. They are like, oh my God, this is what we've been looking for. You're going to stay here and do your work here. From then, that's where I do my art from. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you were not scared. You know that this is all that I have to do. I need to go and show them what I can do. And you go out there and you show them uh, exactly what you are doing. And, mm -hmm. they, and they tell you you can continue. You shared mm -hmm. with me a testimony. How you get the space at Namirembe. If you can share that testimony with our listeners. For those of you that need a... Uh, of us that might be wondering where do we start where do we go if you can share that bit of the testimony yes. basically it was like we I, I, sitting down back home i'm like first of all you have to have a reason to go out there yeah you're blind okay you know your life is ending anytime that was my perspective during that time yeah. but i'm like okay i i have now these babies okay mm. so i want them to go to a very good school yeah. I have to I had a reason to go out. I had a reason to go and when you have a reason to go out you look around. Yeah. And even when the first person you tell them uh, they believe in you you will get another one to believe in you. And if everyone wants, won't believe in you you need to say Holy Spirit where do I go? Yeah. Leading me that time was a nine year old amazing grace my daughter she led me to the hill and i'm like okay let's go and talk uh, to them i didn't know even which office to go i just went to the reception and tell you guys i can really do the art i can really bring it uh, people are the exhibition i'm like okay <laughs> let's get it done so from that art mirror uh, launch magazine mm -hmm. they gave me the space and uh, from that time, I've been doing uh, the thing of the art workshop and exhibition, and then also going around doing it. The real thing which helped me, people who used to come in there, and very soon, I patterned with uh, some different organizations. Okay. Like this is when the Bible Society of Uganda pulled me out, recognized me. I'm like, Rita, apart from doing it in Namirembe, can you do it elsewhere? You say, I can do it. So that's, that way I saw myself going to the east, the west, all around, and uh, getting other blind uh, young ones, telling them we can still do it. Yes. So empowering the youth, empowering the visual impaired and, and other people with other issues mm -hmm. through visual arts became a day-to-day -day, uh, oh. activity. Yes. Yeah. All right. So with the connection, mm -hmm. with everything you had been doing, what got around mm -hmm. that you are doing this thing and you went out to inspire even other artists oh, yeah. who are impaired visually to join you and that's how you've been able to, mm -hmm. to come up. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone might be wondering, mm -hmm. uh, how then uh, do you paint? <laughs> that's, <Without sight. laughs> that's a good one yes. uh, believing like I said I talk about walking by uh, faith one day I'm like okay with the elements of art <laughs> in, uh, I'm like I can still apply do use different methods to bring out what I'm saying. The kind of art I do is not only a, uh, not only like showing beauty and creativity. It's, mm -hmm. My art also is a sign of uh, resilience and determination in it that you can go beyond any challenge and limitation by mm -hmm. God's grace. Okay. And then I started venturing on which uh, materials am I going to use. First of all, everything around me, like dust, I'm, I'm mixing dust in my acrylics or my colors, even sometimes using coffee, like after doing a background on the canvas, yeah. and then using coffee to make those textures or something like that. So I'm like, we can use different materials here to express ourselves, to express what we really think, uh, like how life can move on, you get. Yes. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm like, okay. Let me get my palette. You ask how I can paint when I don't see. Yes. For us in art, we use five colors. Mm. The primary colors, that's red, blue, and yellow. Mm. And then my white and uh, black, the neutral ones. Yeah. So what I do, I mark my tins. You know Braille? Yes, yes. How the blind read? Yes. And then I, I can just mark my white tin with uh, maybe on top, I mark something with masking tape, then the black maybe in the middle, the yellow below, and then the round, the red. So I'll know my colors. When I have an interpreter here and a guide, 
I'll then scoop on the palate uh, and then I, I start mixing my color. They say, did you want green? Maybe my, when I'm mixing my blue and yellow, did you want dark green or you want, or you want a lighter green? So mm -hmm. I want a lighter green, so I add in my white. So after mixing it, I know already what I'm going to put on my canvas. What do I bring out? Remember, I use other senses like sound, intuition, mm -hmm. and what I've seen before as I bring out. But when I'm training, it's very easy because sometimes I'm training those people who will see. So for them, they really, when we mix this color, they really see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So right. that's how I do. I mark my things. I mark my tools. I mark my stuff. So I get the work done. Yes. And then you have some people next to you who can just give you And when they are not there, I can still do something. You can still do like it. Like make a bango, a earring or something. <laughs> Wow, yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> I was watching a video and you were showing people how uh, a piece, there's, you know, there's a foreground, there's a middle ground, <laughs> and a background. Maybe you can also tell us a little bit about that, especially how you teach. Because now you're teaching people how to paint as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. I use the low thirds. I measure my canvas in two, three. The thirds, like, and I'm like, okay, even if, like, the interpreter is not yet here. I don't just sit there and wait for someone. No, what? I know where my tools are. What and then the law of that I just measure my canvas and, and then the, the foreground, the middle ground, in the background. Then what do I put first mm -hmm. and all that? It's just creativity and yes. just believing that you know art is like a therapy, you know, and uh, you, you just end up creating, creating like uh, what I've already said, being ready. I use the principle of being ready. Are uh, for resilience. Mm -hmm. you, you like you know not you don't go to see look at the challenge and all that and then you you will keep on keeping on even if the paint has poured you know the yeah. tin of paint oh yeah, my yeah, god yeah, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you keep on keeping or you put your phone in one of the pallets you get <laughs> yeah yeah and then E for excellence mm -hmm. I'll make sure I bring out this artwork cute exact and then for someone who sees will appreciate it and that one who doesn't see will follow the tactile method uh, uh, what i've done on, on my sketch what i've done then the a for being active all the time mm -hmm. is there something new how can i apply it will i manage that and d you're determined to do it no matter what and for why you're after yeah, as God is bringing back the sight anyway. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Wow. So your acronym is Ready Resilience and E is Excellence. Excellence. And A is Active. 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 All right. And D is Determined. Determination. And why for year after, after year. year. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. So Rita, in uh, your business, as you run your business, because now you have a team, you're no longer doing everything alone. Oh, yeah. You have a team at the gallery. How many people are at the gallery right now? Actually, we are seven. And remember, I've been training since uh, 2016, that yes. time. Yeah. I've been training. So it depends what is coming on, what is coming on, or the work, which work has come in. Yes. So they come, but we are always ready to, uh, like, work on the uh, different orders as they come in. Coming. Yeah, we are like seven and um, three are always there. And then on Sundays, the, uh, my kids are always on board. Your, your kids are always on board. So they're three full time. Oh, yeah. coming as and when the workload is oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Wow, so Rita employed seven, three people at the gallery plus <laughs> other uh, contract basis. Rita's gallery and then is we, located at La Mirembe. Yeah, we, house. yeah, we always have interns who are always there. Interns always with you on the team. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm. So in addition to what you do, in addition to the paintings which mm. you sell, mm. you do a lot of trainings and mm. workshops. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's mm. an interesting uh, activity that you do these days over the weekend. Maybe you can share a little bit of Oh, we do the when I talk about art being a therapy. Yes, we do paint and picnic. We are uh, privileged. Uh, they called. Uh, they invited us at Canary Gardens in Chanja. Okay. They gave us the space. And as parents are waiting for their kids, doing the bounce and castle and all that, the parents are here busy, uh, relaxing on uh, like painting, live painting. Yes. Uh, yeah, they are painting. Even those who didn't know they can paint, uh, get, swiping that brush on the canvas and bringing out yeah, the yes. landscape around us, the sun going down 
grandson come out or the present, they're like amazed. Can I do this? I, uh, yeah, I can do something for my living room. I can do something for my bedroom. Just there, you know, paint and picking. You come home with your painting. And then sometimes I do it like in organizations. Uh -huh. Team, okay. building. team building, yeah. 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 where we go and then we tell them, okay, what's your vision and mission? They state it and then we guide them on a live uh, uh, painting. Of their vision and their mission, mm -hmm. uh, and a team engagement, a board meeting. Mm -hmm. So I guide wow. and lead that team. Wow, wow. <laughs> so paint and picnic happens every Sunday afternoon at uh, Canary Gardens in Chanja, so you can pass there <laughs> and uh, witness Rita in action as mm -hmm. she teaches us how to paint uh, mm -hmm. and do art. We always thought it was for a special group of people. But Rita is showing us that everybody can do it. So if you're still doubting, you can go there and uh, check it out. Rita, mm -hmm. someone might be wondering, what have been some of the challenges that you have faced? In addition to, yes, because you're visually impaired, <laughs> as a business person, what have been some of the challenges you faced? Is it that every time you draw someone by, so, I mean, your exhibitions, are they always fully sold out? What sort of challenges are there in that business? Like uh, any other business, the art business also faces challenges like marketing is not easy. Yeah. <laughs> marketing is not easy and then sometimes not very many people here in Uganda uh, like they understand uh, art. <laughs> <laughs> and then what will you do yes. if they are not buying oh, okay if they're not buying the, the, the real uh, the paintings the ready work what will we do we'll diversify we will go to the art uh, therapy sessions like the paint and picnic I'm talking about we will go out to do um, apart from workshops in the community yeah. Uh, and then you talked about challenges, and yeah. I think I take this as uh, like a set up to uh, step up, step mm. back to. Uh, it's like moving. One time you have to get this art material. You've been given work, and and two they need that portrait in the shortest time possible. They need that company uh, tagline in the shortest time. So sometimes the ready uh, border or bike will take you to get the artworks. The person who knows <laughs> is not there. What will you do? You go on a strange border, and they are just called the blood of Jesus. Let's go. <laughs> you don't know this so person. Richard, are you saying that you're using border? border? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I also. <laughs> yes, I can jump on this border and remember I have money. Okay, yeah. when we reach there, I don't know. I, I don't see this money. Our money, you can't just touch and feel. And feel it, yes. But I know in my bag I have maybe let me see one hundred thousand. Yeah. It is changed in twenty twenty maybe. Yeah. So reaching there, I don't know this border guy. Yeah. I tell him help me go to there. Uh, maybe the officer next there. Yeah. At the gateway, I'm going to buy my materials. Yeah. Or maybe I've communicated to someone where I'm going. I'm like, please, 10 minutes, help me. Be there. And in case I reach there and they're not there, I'll also ask, her, so this border person and this new person, I don't know, I'll tell this person, can you kindly pay this border guy maybe 10,000? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so I have to trust uh, this one to trust this one, this one to trust that one, that challenge. But I don't, <laughs> I no longer look <laughs> at it as a, a challenge. I'm like, okay, uh, in my heart of hearts, I'm praying, yes. Lord, <laughs> let me not be like maybe duped or what. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and I move on. That is mobility there, then yeah. counting the money, uh, then sometimes paying the interpreter. Life of a blind person is like, a bit expensive because you, you don't move alone. Yes. So if it's uh, <laughs> if it's movement, you have to be maybe two or three on the yeah. team. And I always tell people there is no like sugar for the blind. Yeah. <laughs> there is no one. So we work hard. You're trying to cope <laughs> with, with it's always double. double. Yeah. 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 But you don't give up on that. I have a word is that whose report will you believe? What are you listening to? Yeah. I'm always listening to positive messages to stay positive, yeah. knowing that endless good is always coming to me in endless ways. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that explains why you're always positive. You're always <laughs> listening. What is the report that you're listening to? What are the promises? Mm -hmm. And you are really into the word. Like you say, you always ask the Lord mm -hmm. to guide you, to go with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's been faithful because mm -hmm. 
you know, mm -hmm. you always meet random Askaris <laughs> helping you. And, 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 yeah. Of course, there have been bad days, but we thank God those are the fewer ones. Yeah. yeah. For that. Mm -hmm. Richard, what is the future like for Magazine Arts? Oh, for us, the dream is to get that visual art city where we have, uh, like, even the, uh, this, uh, differently abled, will I say that? Yeah. Uh, which favors the gallery, which favors also the disabled. Like, they can come in, do their work, and then they can get back in the same place, like a museum. We have many stories around. We have many stories, what we've been through. So we create the art, not just one day, but all the days. So this visual art city, having the material, like I told you, moving around for art materials. Yeah. Yes. So this visual art city, ha having the materials in one place, and then getting our work done, and then also getting the market in the same place, and all that, and all that. Yes, yeah, so yeah. you dream of a visual art city mm -hmm. where uh, visually impaired <laughs> or differently abled people can come. Uh, also involved. Who can come and comfortably uh, yeah. work in that space. Yes, yeah, yes. Where yes. their materials are already there, there's a place to sell everything. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a dream. And we know that it will come to pass. Oh, yeah. Yes, it mm -hmm. will come to pass. Amen. Someone is wondering, what mm -hmm. scriptures have you... Uh, <laughs> Stuck to what scriptures have you held on to? May, okay, why I even love art so much? Why the business of art? When we go, we dig in the Bible, Exodus, uh, like there, 35, 20 there. Yeah. You see how God is a creator. How, how is the artist is talking about the fabric, yeah. the color in the linen. Yes. You, you saw how he's talking about the metal, the yeah. white. Okay, he's bringing all the media of visual art in there. So yeah. art begins from God. Remember, he's a creator. Yeah. We are co-creators. You see how the, uh, like nature can be. In the morning, it's a different shade. In yeah. the evening, the colors painted on the sky. Oh, my God. When you're putting them on canvas, you're just uh, feeling uh, like God is so amazing. Yeah. No wonder even the blind can paint. Even the blind can <laughs> paint. Amen. So basically, the fact that God is an artist, that is your inspiration. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> he lives in you and he's the one that has enabled you to do all these things and therefore uh, it is possible. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. people are saying interesting things. There's a director, Grace says for him he gave up on a painting, that for him he just goes and eats. <laughs> oh, wow, director, I'll try Richard. <laughs> Richard, maybe, just maybe, uh, you might be able to paint. Don't give up, director. Yeah, <laughs> remember her acronym, ready, director, mm -hmm. ready. And then, um, what do you have to say to that person? Mm -hmm. Be like, life has handed them lemons, even as you wrap up. <laughs> what would you tell that person who feels like, you know what, this life is so horrible. Look at me, my business, I'm dead, uh, clients are not coming, uh, I'm struggling, I just don't seem to be moving forward. As you wrap up, what mm -hmm. would be your parting mm -hmm. shots? What would you inspire a business uh, person with? Okay, basically, first of all, before, uh, I'm, I'm, what are you listening to? Yeah. Are you listening to fear? Oh, you're ready. Remember our word ready? Yeah. Resilience, excellence, active, determined, yeah, after, yeah. Because this year, if you have the days, oh, if every, the odds are against you, next year, what are you going to bring in? Yeah. What, what are you going to do? So it's like, what are you listening to? Yeah. There is that book, there, the, the Bible. What, what, how did they maneuver? How did David do it from uh, where he was to yeah. where he? How did Samuel, Mommy Samuel, do it, Hannah? Yeah. I mean, what are you listening to? Listen yeah. to the word of God. Put in your subconscious mind that all the Holy Spirit is always around to help you. Yeah. And you know, even when things are tight, how? Even when you don't know how to cross the road, yeah. <laughs> you have faith in this young one, eight year old, to make you cross yes. what, are, what are you putting in your subconscious mind when you're not when you are sitting there what are you listening are you meditating about the date or when the rent is late no you just have to know that the lord has your back yeah. only him only god it's only jesus only Jesus. Yeah. So what yeah. are you listening to? Mm -hmm. Because faith comes by hearing. And hearing the word of God. Exactly. Yep. So basically, mm. focus on God. Oh, what yeah. Focus on is what will grow. Yeah. So what are you listening to? Mm -hmm. Who is around you? What mm -hmm. are you taking in mm -hmm. as opposed to uh, uh, the alternatives? So if mm -hmm. you're focusing on your problems, mm -hmm. those ones will seem bigger. Mm -hmm. But also, the 
Bible says that, you know, you face various trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. but be of good cheer. I have overcome the, uh, the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what are you listening to? Oh, yeah. Your question to them. <laughs> what are you listening what to? What are you listening to? Are you ready to overcome fear? Remember our ready word? Resilience, excellence, active determined year after year. This year you've not seen your breakthrough. Next year you will. Keep on keeping on. There is light at the end of the tunnel. With Jesus, we make it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. That is amazing. Thank you, Rita, for sharing your story. For sharing your story. If you want to see more about Rita, Rita has won various awards. She has appeared before different people, and uh, her life is very inspirational. We've just had a little time to just share uh, more into that, and, and, and you can tune in on YouTube. You'll find some of her videos where she goes even further deeper into her business story. But hers has been really a journey of faith. So if you're a business owner and you were wondering, what next? How do I go about it? Mm -hmm. It is all about your faith and then your actions. Rita has mentioned many things that she has had to do, even in her position, mm -hmm. even in her condition, mm -hmm. but she has been able to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. Someone was wondering if you make money. I am sure you are making money. <laughs> yes, you are making money. She holds various uh, exhibitions. Her gallery uh, mm -hmm. is open each and every day. Mm -hmm. uh, she has sold her art pieces in Europe <laughs> and around the world, right? All right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> even in the state that she is. Oh, yeah. But it's because she has taken that step, gone out, and mm -hmm. tried to do something. Mm -hmm. So if you're out there, you have this idea, your business is going, put it out there, mm -hmm. and uh, you will see the glory that comes from you taking mm -hmm. that step of faith. So thank you very much, Rita, for sharing your story. We have been <laughs> truly inspired. Amen. And of course, if you're here in the studio, you have an opportunity mm -hmm. to continue the conversation with her down at the Brink Cafe, even before we tune in from Bain Garage. So you might have been listening and you're hearing her story, mm -hmm. and you see how she continues to talk about Jesus, the Holy Spirit, <laughs> how they have guided her on this journey, mm -hmm. every step of the way. If you sit in Rita's presence, mm -hmm. she's always speaking, she's always <laughs> praying, she's always declaring positivity, always smiling. Mm -hmm. But where does that come from? It comes from the one that is in her life, the one that lives in her and mm -hmm. walks with her. It comes from her decision, her okay. personal decision mm -hmm. to start a relationship with Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to invite you into a, a life, mm -hmm. a life that has meaning, a life that has purpose, a mm -hmm. life where you will keep going no matter what challenges and tribulation, mm -hmm. but above all, the life where you know that your soul is in a good place with mm -hmm. the Lord. So I would like to invite you to give your life to Christ this morning. Mm -hmm. The one who will make sense of everything, mm -hmm. give you purpose, mm -hmm. and most importantly, be your Lord and your Savior. So if you'd like to give your life to Christ, mm -hmm. would like to give you an opportunity to pray with us this morning. So you can bow your head and say, Dear Lord, thank you for my life. Thank you for my life. Thank you that you love me. Thank you that you love me. And today morning, and today morning I, accept you I accept you into my life. Into my as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Walk with me and do something significant with my life. In Jesus' name, I have prayed and received. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And if you've just said that prayer, this morning you are born again. It is as simple as that. Your life has immediately made a complete 360 and you're starting to, living the, to start living the blessed life. And would like to know and would give you an opportunity to let us know with the number that is on your screen. You can text or WhatsApp plus 256-775-642-449. Plus 256 uh, for international audience, 775-642-449. There is a pastor at the end of that line that would like to help you make sense of the decision you just made. Mm -hmm. Send them a message and say, I gave my life to Christ this morning on Business Garage. Mm -hmm. And they'll be able to guide you mm -hmm. on the next steps. So from all of us here at Business Garage, thank you very much for <laughs> tuning in. Thank you for joining us. We believe that you have been inspired. So what are you going to do about it? That is the next important thing. So until next time, mm -hmm. from myself, Sharon, and the team at Business Garage, we thank you for tuning in, and 